So, guys, when we thought KSI and Logan Paul couldn't get any worse, they did. One is over here using his newborn child as a billboard, and the other is having the biggest meltdown on Twitter, calling Dan TDM a pussy. My God. It's crazy how it went from trying to make quality content for your audience to trying to find ways to scam them. This whole lunchly situation keeps getting worse day by day. And the saddest part in all of this is seeing KSI turning into Logan Paul. It went from hugging Logan Paul to sucking Logan Paul. My guy is over here fighting Nina for it. I mean, we get it. Logan Paul is his boyfriend, but still, have some decency. I'm pretty sure KSI's next opponent is Nina. Whoever wins the match takes Logan Paul home. I'm sure it would be bigger than any event KSI has done in past. And I'm all for it. Let's make it happen. Jokes aside, recently Logan Paul became a father, so you'd think he'd be busy spending time with his family and stop beefing with community notes on Twitter. He did, kind of, but not really. My guy was busy making videos for Lunchly in the hospital room, while his wife, no, not this wife, this wife, Nina, is about to give birth. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money! I gotta give props to him for committing to scamming kids this hard. I mean, I'm sold. I'll go get Lunchly now. And of course, we have our snacks and our energy drink. None other than the greatest meals in the world. Lunchly, of course, we have the turkey, cheese, and cracker stack. That also the Fiesta so nachos, my personal favorite. Love. Poor kid. Imagine on your birthday, your father, Low Ganster Paul, was making videos of Lunchly just a few hours before you were born. I wouldn't be surprised if he names one of his kids after a Lunchly flavor. Even in the video, you can hear Nina say, love. Then the clip cuts off. She's probably thinking, our first child is about to be born, and he's playing with lunchly boxes. That's crazy. I actually feel bad for the kid. She's going to be a walking, talking, living billboard for him. Probably going to only drink Prime and eat lunchly. That baby is so cooked. Let's put that into perspective. Ryan Garcia and Logan Paul are beefing over something I don't even care about. But Ryan congratulates Logan. And he replies with, Prime is still suing you for lying, but thanks. That's wild, man. At this point, I don't think anything Logan does can be taken seriously. And all this time, KSI was sitting behind, taking notes, because he's doing the same things as Logan. Logan scammed his audience with crypto. KSI did a pump and dump. Logan made his audience hate him. Now KSI is doing the same. It's crazy how similar they are. Logan Paul was just beefing with Community Notes, and now his girlfriend KSI is beefing with Community Notes too. These two are literally made for each other. Logan should just leave Nina and marry KSI at this point. KSI tweets, A lot has happened these past few days online, so here I am addressing everything below, and links to a website called myapology.co.uk. He immediately gets Community Noted. Not only is the link 100% misleading, which breaks X guidelines. It's also a marketing tactic by WMG, who created the site, using anger surrounding his controversies to promote his new single. That's just pathetic. Then he comes back and says, the community note is a straight up lie. The apology is there. You just have to click the page a few times to get to it. Once again, people abusing community notes and gets community noted again. At this point, just take the L. Where's Albert when we need him the most? Only Albert can handle KSI and Logan Paul. On KSI's cringy apology video, Albert came to save us, saying, It's poetic that the legacy sign behind him isn't lit up anymore. Wow, that's a good point. I mean, poisoning kids is his legacy now. It's crazy how one tweet caused a massive downward spiral for three of the biggest YouTubers, KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast especially for KSI. I've been watching him for a long time, and there's always been this one thing I've noticed. KSI surrounds himself with an echo chamber. He only keeps people around who repeat what he wants to hear. If you agree with KSI, he's all for you, but if you share a different opinion, he doesn't like it. And that's a big reason why he never admits when he's wrong. A recent example of this is, of course, Lunchly, 
but even two months ago, he was mad at Beard Meets Food just for not liking Prime and saying no to a Sidemen video, which he's totally entitled to do. And they basically messaged me saying, very complimentary, saying, bro, love your, uh, love your eating challenges. You know what goes great with an eating challenge? Some Prime to wash it down. Give us your address and phone number so we can send you some. You're having a bad day. Admittedly, well, my, my reaction was slightly mischievous, but ethically, I don't like the brand, <laughs> right? So I'm perfectly entitled to share my opinion with them. Yeah. So I said, perhaps a bit directly, I would rather drink, drink my grand's piss um, and send it back to them. And I thought it'd be funny to just post that on my Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Somebody had tweeted him about me saying that. And he says something like, I'm not going to give that clown the time of day. We try to get him involved in a Sidemen video and he didn't want to. And then something else insulting about me. And I thought like, that was a funny thing to me. How big does your ego have to be? That it is insulting to you that somebody doesn't want to be in your video. You're not entitled to have me in your video. I don't want to be in, in one of your videos. Right? I'm sure it'll be great for me. I'm sure it'll be great exposure. But I've got zero interest in it, right? Don't get mad about it, right? If I asked you to be in one of my videos and you said no, I wouldn't get mad. Like, it's calm not, down. It's, it's not personal. KSI has a massive ego. And if you do anything to hurt it, he'll go on Twitter to cry about it. I mean, Beard Meets Food could have declined more politely. He even agrees with that in his video but he's still entitled to his opinion. If he doesn't like something, so be it, move on. There's no point in calling him a clown on Twitter. It's the same situation now. Dan made one tweet, moved on with his life, and got back to uploading videos. But KSI just couldn't let it go, went as far as calling him a pussy, then later deleted the tweet. Now, you might say, bad publicity is good publicity, but you couldn't be more wrong. Every brand has some value attached to it. And for YouTubers, that value is their integrity and their direct connection to their audience. Fans support their favorite influencer because they feel connected. If that trust gets exploited, the connection breaks. And you can't just rebrand yourself like a soulless corporate machine. Sure, if you're a company, you can just hire another influencer to promote your product. And maybe in that world, any publicity is good. But for creators, it's not that simple. Even when you look at the promo videos, they just feel so fake and unauthentic. For instance, at the start of one clip, Logan is pouring a Capri Sun, and he's holding the entire pouch while pouring slow on purpose, while KSI's Prime bottle is nearly empty, all just to show that Prime has twice the amount of liquid. It all comes off as scummy and staged. In another clip, they're taste testing Lunchables and Lunchly, and Logan doesn't even eat it. He spits it out immediately while saying, we're not biased at all. Yeah, totally convincing. This one is from Hydration. Hydration. Prime Lemonade. I'll keep it 100 with y'all I drink lemonade almost every single day. I have pink lemonade on my desk. I am a lemonade god. Then, there are the scummy tactics on the website. Suddenly, 11 grams of protein in Lunchables is bad for you, but the same 11 grams in Lunchly is good for you. And apparently, 310 calories in Lunchables is bad, but 360 calories in Lunchly is good. Look, I'm not saying Lunchables is any better or good for you, but I am just comparing a YouTuber's product to a soulless corporate one. They're using the same shady advertising tricks to squeeze a few more dollars out of their fans while already swimming in millions. And they still try to act like they're better than some evil company. In the end, they'll make more money at the cost of losing their audience. And honestly, that's their loss. That's it for me on this one. Feel free to check out one of my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.